Malaika's gonna be catching a flight in a few days. So we're gonna be heading to... It's already going. I went to the gym this morning, which I am super proud of. I am determined to hit three gym sessions a week, pretty much no matter what. So I went ahead and did that. Monday is also the day that we have our cleaner come in. So what I like to do before that, and this is a little hack, cause I know a lot, a lot of people can feel intimidated with having a cleaner, like how do I make sure they want it how I want it? Um, but I, for one, I strip all of the beds and just put the bedding that I want so then they know, okay, I want the beds done. I take the towels out of the bathrooms and I leave fresh towels laid out so they know that those are the towels that I want there. And you can also literally just explain, give them like a walkthrough of exactly how you want things done. And for me, this is what I call working smarter and not harder because that, takes me like 15, maybe 20 minutes max to do compared to the four hours that I was spending cleaning before. And I'm realizing more and more, like if you're taking time out of somewhere, it's gonna have to come out of somewhere. So for me, I was like, okay, I'd rather spend four hours either interacting with Malaika, working on my book, enjoying time with my family than I would spend it doing cleaning. So the company that we use for our cleaning is called Homoglow and they're very kindly sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Homoglow, they are a home service company that make it super, super easy to book a cleaner in your area. We've been using Homoglow in this home for a few months and we also use them in our old apartment. You can literally find cleaners who can come to your area pretty much anywhere. Just have a look on your website. They have so many cleaners who are five star rated. You don't have to bother scouring the internet. You can literally scroll through the cleaners that are available in your area. A lot of them will list out like the specialities that they do, their strengths. You can see reviews about them so you can get someone who you really like. It's also really easy to switch as well. Like if you just don't have that synergy with the cleaner that you originally assigned, it's super, super easy to switch cleaners. I feel like this is such a major hack for especially the fall like a lot of us are going to be doing hosting like we said we're actually hosting thanksgiving this time which i'm excited and nervous about but one thing i know that i'm not going to have to worry about is the cleaning so if you want to book a one-off clean then you can definitely go ahead and do that maybe before or after the holidays but even better i think if you're a mother what i would encourage you to gift yourself is a regular clean we have our cleaner come in once every two weeks and it is the perfect amount of time for us it keeps the house in a really really good state she does the deep clean when she comes and it just takes off a weight off of my plate 
And with Home and Glow, they have something called the Forever Clean Membership, which basically saves you money off of every single clean, number one. And number two, you can also schedule cleans in advance. You guys know I'm all about systems, not just in business, but also in the home. And this is the ultimate way to systematize. You know that every however frequency you want it, whether it's once a week, twice a week, however frequently you want it, you can schedule your cleaner to come at that time and you also save so much money with this membership you don't have to worry about it because it's already automated so you guys already know we have a discount code for you if you use the code homoglow.com forward slash the clements you can get your first three hours of cleaning for 19 dollars i'm gonna just repeat that your first three hours of cleaning for 19 dollars this is actually what i used when i first joined home Glow because it was very low investment i could get a feel for what was the service like for a very little amount so you can go ahead and do that either by clicking the link in the description or you can scan the qr code on the screen do yourself a favor get yourself some cleaning we are also traveling out of town in a couple of days so i feel like this vlog is pretty much going to be us getting ready to do that, doing little bits around the house. We need to clean the car. Malika needs to have a deep clean of her hair and like, I need to style her hair and everything. Winston's having a haircut. Um, that's just, we're just gonna be taking you guys along as we prep for travel. Winston's got a talk in Cali in a few days, which I'm so excited for him for. So yeah, one less thing I have to worry about is the cleaning, because I love coming back to a clean house after travel, so a win for that. Look, who's that? It's me. It's you. Is it you or is it me? Malaika's going to be catching a flight in a few days. Actually, her first flight she's caught, maybe for a bit a year. As you can see, we're not home today because we are at the airport. At the airport. We're back home. ATL, you know what? It's been real. We tried it. More than a year. More than a year. More than a year. So we're going to be heading to California, Sacramento, California. So if any of you all are from Sacramento, let us know some good things to do over there. So we're going to be there just for a few days. Yeah, just for a few days. And I'm going to be speaking at a, a school, a college down there. I'm really excited to, to meet everybody. Are you excited too? Yeah, so today I'm just going to be mostly getting ready, like packing, so that we can be all set and not have to do everything last minute. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. High five. Yeah. I need to find a way to get rid of like oil stains because I really like this top, but I got oil stains on there, and I love the color gray. So let me know. I, I feel like I did ask this last time, and if people made a few recommendations, I tried. Baking soda, that didn't work. I tried um, like the Dawn Power Wash, that didn't work. So I don't know, let me know. Anyway, gonna make some breakfast. I've been focusing on getting high protein breakfast in. I've actually just been doing like a fillet of salmon with some eggs and then like my usual tomato and onion mix. But we've run out of the salmon today. And since we're traveling, I just wanna use what we have. So I'm just gonna have bacon, some eggs and my usual tomato and onion. My wife is clipped that I saw on the internet on YouTube. 
a couple at their wedding, they drove into the actual wedding venue, like the car was driven into the venue between tables and everything. I thought it was uh, mm -mm. very glamorous. <laughs> the car is literally inside. Very no, and it's long. Yeah, it's a whole limo. Um, yes, yeah, so for those of you that like a bit of a glamorous grand entrance, check this out. It's very grand, I'll say that. It just feels a bit precarious. <laughs> Can't lie. <laughs> Excessive. Yeah, a little bit. What do you think, Malaka? So you don't want to do that for our wedding wow. wedding bar renewal. Guys, it's gonna be five years next year. I know. We're gonna do a bar renewal at ten years. Um no. No. Okay. No. For sure. For sure. I'm gonna make a list. Well I have a list. Of everything that we need to get done today. So let's pull it up. Say pull it up. Pull it up. I made this obviously on my Trello board. Trip prep. Okay. Yep. Trip. First thing is finish laundry and putting it away. Laundry is currently in, so that's in progress. Yes. I need to make a packing list. I always try and create a list rather than just like diving in. I need to clean the car. We need to do Malika's hair and then we need to pack. So I think we'll clean the car right now um, because the cleaner's still in the house doing like some other bits so i feel like that would be a good use of time i'm so embarrassed with the state of the inside of the car so please don't judge me but i think we'll clean the inside and then we'll take it to like a car wash for the outside but yeah i'm embarrassed are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassing please don't judge because i won't judge you i can get you because it can get ugly before it gets beautiful please don't Anyway, let's attempt Daddy, to clean this car. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's get this show on the road. Guys. Little nasty! car washes and I don't know it was a bit scary it was like dark and you couldn't see but Malika enjoyed it um, anyway we can take that off of our list I think I also we're in we're at Target now and I need to just get a couple of bits I want to get some snacks for Malika and like some juice cartons that she can have like for the flight and while we're waiting and stuff and I'm just gonna get a couple of easy things that we can do for breakfast tomorrow and an easy thing that we can have for dinner tomorrow um so yeah i'm gonna get just a couple of bits from target and then we'll go home uh, the cleaner she's doing like a real 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 deep clean like we 
booked her for like six hours just because I, I wanted the house done like top to bottom like the basement and stuff ready for like we're planning to put some furniture down there and like do the guest bedroom down there so I wanted it deep clean for that um, but she's doing an amazing job but it just feels so nice being able to run out and do what I need to do while someone takes care of the cleaning so very grateful for that but anyway we're gonna head into into Target get the bits that we need to get So guys, this is much later in the day. A few hours later. It is. Well, we've been out. Yeah, you yeah, guys went out. out. Yeah. Minutes. I carried on working on my slides. Guys, look how beautiful my slides look. Bellissimo. Very cool. Yeah, so make sure you... Uh, well, so make sure you tune in. You can't tune in. <laughs> we're gonna vlog. Though, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna vlog. It's it's a private yeah. event. I'm gonna be speaking with students um, when I make this journey. When we make this journey to California, but mm -hmm. we'll yeah. vlog the like BTS and yeah, and we'll definitely show you snippets of like the talk itself. But yeah, it's a really good. I definitely need to go and get Hi. this haircut. She has insisted on wearing this glove all day after she told me. She's had it on all day. We're gonna chill for a bit and then get a haircut. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly have some food, lay down honestly for a minute um, before we drive. Yeah, just be horizontal before we drive to get Winston's haircut. I'm realizing the key for me for travel. So like no matter how organized you are you are gonna have a crazy day so i've decided to make that crazy day not the day before we travel but the day before that so then the day before could just be about two like days two days before so we can like actually like rest and stuff we got a few snacks and stuff from target um so i'll give you guys a quick haul later but right now i need to lay down <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do yeah your daddy gonna take care of you mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna be with your daddy <laughs> sometimes yeah you can take a break because i have been sleeping so terribly and i feel like i'm thinking maybe it's the caffeine because i'm used to one coffee a day but now i've been having like my protein coffee and an actual coffee and i think i've been having it too late i'm restricting myself to one coffee a day and making sure that it is before noon because i feel like usually what i use my coffee for is like to wake me up in the afternoon but really my body is actually like paring down and that's an extra process i need to allow i also need some self-care tonight i'm gonna do like a proper pamper session because look at me i look crazy i haven't even had a chance to like do anything because the cleaner came literally after i came from the gym so tonight i'm gonna do like an everything shower have a nice soak just Live my life. All right, quick before, after, TBC. Get ready for the transition. <laughs> Please, welcome to the stage. Okay. Okay, sharp lines. <laughs> okay. Just a little satin. Okay. A little satin, satin. My Baba is a great guy, but he doesn't speak any English. Oh. So we communicate in sign, sign language in Japanese. Sign and wonders. I think he understood the assignment. <laughs> <laughs>
like so many moments lately where I'm like, wow, children really do watch what you do. Like, for the last few days, Malaika has been. You guys know, like, we close the curtain every night. I'll find her as soon as it starts to get, like, to like six o'clock. She'll close the curtains herself. She'll close this door because it has like a clear door. And also, look, as soon as we get in the house, she'll take her shoes off and she, like, puts them, like, neatly by the door. And I'm just like. Yeah, I'm having, like, a proud. I'm having a proud mom moment at the moment because she's just so many things she's just picking up on like even her teddies she'll take them to the right place and I'm just like thank you God thank you Jesus so yeah just had to share that little one chicken in the oven I'm putting some courgettes in the air fryer and then I'm doing this salad I just get it from from Walmart but I'm sure you can get it at other places but it's, it's really good got really good ingredients I think you can have this raw but I just cook it a little bit over a pan and some olive oil and yeah it tastes really good It's a lot of like random stuff, but what I mainly wanted to show you was like what we got for the purposes of like snacks and the plane and stuff. We got some chomps. We stick beside chomps, like these are so so good. Yeah, they're just a great source of protein. I feel like usually when you reach for a snack, it's like sweet and it gives you that quick burst of energy, but then you have a crash. But yeah, chomps, we all love them. Malika loves them, so we're gonna take these on the plane for Malika, but then also for us. I just got these like little melt bite thingies for Malika. Um, obviously these are like for like baby babies, but I feel like it would just be like a fun, fun little healthy thing that she can eat. We don't really give her sweets. So I feel like these would be nice. And then I got some of these like nature value bars. Again, I tried to get majority of things that Malika could eat, but that we could also eat. So I got these. Um, I also got like this, um, I put it in the fridge, let me quickly, let me quickly get it. I just got this little fun like crunch pack that I think she'll like. It's just apples, grapes, some biscuits and some cheese. And then I just got some of these like little apple juices for Malaika, but again Winston also likes apple juice. And then I got these like Nutella stick thingies just bagels for breakfast for tomorrow just got a couple of like minis for, for travel so this is the cream i like to use so i just got the mini version of that body lotion i just got a mini version of that as well although i think i have a body lotion so i think i'm just going to put this in the car because i never have moisturizer and i just got a little vaseline for travel as well a couple of toothbrushes toothbrush holders i just thought i should have got malika a toothbrush holder as well and then I just got these travel sized makeup remover pads. And then for entertainment, I'm just gonna bring her like a notepad and like some crayons. But I wanted to get her like one or two like toys that I think she'd find cool too. So I got this, which I thought was like really fun. It's one of those things that has like this on the side. And then, yeah, you can like do this and stuff with your fingers. So I thought she'd, she'd find that quite entertaining. She liked it in the shop. And this was only like $5 in Target um because i just she has a lot of toys at home but i wanted like small things that we could just pack easily and that would be good for like a tray table on the plane and then she's really into stickers recently so i got her these stickers i wanted to get ones that we could use again so they're alphabet stickers so i thought this could be fun for when we're doing crafts and stuff as well and i'll just take like a little notepad that she can use for them and that's pretty much everything that we got we're gonna pack together later i'm feeling tired but I wanna just get that done. So today, tomorrow, my only objective is to relax. We've got an early flight on Wednesday. We're gonna to have to leave the house at like 
4 or 5 a.m. So I want to have a chill day tomorrow. So if I can lay my head on that pillow, knowing that we have packed, that'll be great. So anyway, everything that we got. I'm gonna quickly finish up dinner. We'll go eat, pack, and chill. Okay, this is dinner. Winston and Bob are basically having the same thing with rice, but chicken legs, courgette, and then a salad. It's super filling. Um, I love courgettes because they're super filling. Um, but yeah, lemon calories for those of us on a mission. <laughs> Malika is refusing to take this glove off that she's had on all day. So yeah. If you're wondering how toddler parent life is going, she's a surgeon. just going to put this as it is, add our toothbrushes, um, and then that's it for toiletries. So I feel like that's one of the longest things to pack and condense, so I just keep it stacked with everything that we need. Okay managed to get all of our stuff onto like one carry-on suitcase and then we'll also have a backpack which we'll put like electronics and stuff like that and then I'll also have just like a crossbody for like wallets and passports and stuff but yeah I'm pretty impressed with that I mean it is pretty tightly packed I usually like to leave a little bit of space but we're not going to be you know doing a lot of shopping or anything like that so that should be fine and wherever we can like if it's just like a couple of nights like it is this time i like to just take a carry-on that we can just keep with us the whole time yeah rather than like waiting for like bag drops and bags going missing and things like that obviously sometimes you really do need the space but managed to fit all of our stuff in here um, and I am feeling pretty exhausted, so gonna have a shower, gonna wind down for bed, and we'll see you guys soon for the travel vlog. Thanks guys for watching, and yeah, I feel like we don't say this enough, but please subscribe if you're an avid watcher. Just have a look, maybe you think you've subscribed and you haven't, that would really help us out a lot. But anyway, bye C fam. <laughs>